Welcome back to part two of making the futuristic truck. In this video, we'll be making the wheel arch, the windows, and the second half of the body. To start, we are going to trace the wheel arch as we are going to make a three-dimensional path around the sketch using the sweep tool. Make sure to sketch the same path as I do in the video. Click finish sketch. Now we are going to create a sketch of a triangle on the rear bumper that will follow the path of the wheel arch that we just sketched. First, draw a one millimeter line tracing the edge of the rear bumper. Next, draw a 0.75 millimeter perpendicular line going along the body of the truck. Connect the lines to form a triangle. Now click Finish Sketch. Note how the triangle mimics the triangular shape of the wheel arch. Access Sweep through the Create menu. We are going to select the triangle as the profile and the sketch that we just drew of the wheel arch as the path. Make sure that the operation selected is new body, not cut. Now we are going to create a front bumper. We are going to create a sketch on the front right face of the truck. Draw a line across the face as pictured in the video. Extrude the faces that make up the front bumper by one millimeter. Extrude the part of the front bumper that is on the front of the truck by one millimeter. Use the loft tool under the create menu to connect the parts of the front bumper to each other. The loft tool creates a three dimensional body filling in the gap between two faces. Now use the loft tool to connect the front bumper to the wheel arch. Now we are going to create the windows of the truck. Extrude the windows from the first sketch that we drew by 0.2 millimeters. Make sure to select a start from the object. We are going to create the front and back windows. Create a sketch on the face highlighted in the video. Draw a 13.25 millimeter line along the edge of the face. Create another line along the rest of the edge of the face. Next, create a line tracing the top edge of the face. Draw a line parallel to the top 
edge from the endpoint of the 13.25 millimeter line. Connect that line to the line along the top edge. Draw a 0.5 millimeter line along the bottom of the shape and connect it to the top parallel to the left side of the shape. If your line does not come out parallel when you draw it, you can always just use the parallel line constraint. We have created the front window. Click Finish Sketch. Next, we are going to create the rear window. We are going to select the top face towards the rear of the truck. Draw a line along the top edge of the face. Draw a 29 millimeter long line along the left side of the face. Connect the line to the right edge of the face. Draw a line from the endpoint of the first line that we drew connecting the top of the face to the bottom of the face. Make sure that the line is parallel to the right edge of the face. Click Finish Sketch. We have created the front and back window. Now we will extrude them inwards. First extrude the front window using the cut operation by 0.1 millimeters. Next, we are also going to extrude the rear window using the cut operation by 0.1 millimeters. We have created a split view of the futuristic truck. We will create the other half using the mirror tool. You can access the mirror tool through the create menu. In the mirror tool menu, select all of the bodies while holding down the control key from either the left side of the page or directly from the truck. We will be mirroring all of these bodies to create the second half of the truck. Select the interface of the truck as the mirror plane. You have completed the futuristic truck. Thank you for watching and make sure to come back for more 3D modeling tutorials.